In 2014, we began offering a social media marketing class for realtors. A requirement prior to class is accounts must be created. The platforms covered in class are Facebook, business pages, Twitter, and Pinterest. I would like to walk you through getting started when creating all three accounts. First, we're going to start with Facebook. In the top right corner, click and select Create a Page. Choose Local Business or Place and then select your category. Real estate is a category, so make sure you select that. The page name should be something that is unique to you, not just your brokerage, unless you are operating the brokerage's Facebook page. When you fill in the city, make sure you grab the city or else it will provide you with an error message. The next section is for you to customize your page. So your category, you will simply type in real estate and you can keep it as real estate, you can select agent or broker. I'm going to select agent. Next you will write a short and sweet description about your professional self and mention your brokerage in the description. Add your company website and the unique web address is something that is easy to remember so you can share on business cards and tell people to find you on Facebook. So for example, my real sources is facebook.com forward slash my real source. Once you have created your unique web address, select yes to is your page a real establishment or business or venue. Once you've done that, save information. As you can see at the top of the page, there are several more steps. You can upload a profile photo, you can add to your favorites, and you can reach more people. You can simply go through these steps on your own and decide if you want to add your favorites, which is your side toolbar. And then you can also decide if you want to reach more people, which would be purchasing an ad. This is not required for class, and we actually suggest that you skip that option. Once you have completed these steps, your business page will be complete. Remember to bring your Facebook login to class and arrive 10 minutes early to login. The next portion of class will be creating a Twitter account. Simply visit Twitter's page to create your account, which is twitter.com. Select sign up for an account, fill in your first name. Now keep in mind this can be just your first name and last name, or your business page name. For example, ABC Realty Taylor. I am just going to put my first name. Think of a password that will be easy for you to remember for class. And now you will choose your unique username. This is where you want to have something real estate related in your name. and then select create my account. As you continue when creating this account, just simply hit next. Creating a Twitter account is simple. To continue on, Twitter will ask you to follow other pages to get started. So make sure you follow the minimum amount. This is a requirement for Twitter. In class, we'll perfect your page by customizing it, adding content, tweeting, and using hashtags. All you need to do is create this account, remember your email and your password, and you will be all set. When it comes to creating your Pinterest account, it is actually the easiest out of all three. 
When you go to Pinterest's home page, you have two options. You can create an account by using your email, or you can create an account by signing up with Facebook. I recommend using Facebook, but it's your personal preference. When you use Facebook to create your account, it automatically pulls the information from Facebook, also invites and follows any of your Facebook friends. Now if you create it from your email, you will have to find people to follow and we will go through all that in class. All you have to do is simply click on continue with Facebook or decide what email and choose a password to create the account.